Coming up on this week's edition of Beyond the Brief, St. Patrick's Day. We'll share with you some of the events around campus as students celebrate. And later on, we will hear some of the responses students gave when asked what their plans are for St. Patrick's Day, their favorite traditions, and if they believe in the luck of the Irish. Beyond the Brief starts right now. Welcome to Beyond the Brief, presented by iPulse. I'm Mariana Schaefer. And I'm Ricky Freeberry. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you and all our viewers out there. I hope you're all wearing green. Lynn University will be holding a St. Patrick's Day celebration hosted by the Center for Global Education and Citizenship on Thursday, March 17th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Perper Plaza. This event is to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and the Emerald Isles. Also on Thursday, there will be a Mardi Gras and St. Patrick's Day fundraiser from 11 to 1 in the Student Center lobby to raise money for the Transitions program. Besides the Lynn events being held, many students find their own ways to celebrate. Hi, I'm Sarah Benjamin reporting for Lynn University's Beyond the Brief. Today we're here to talk to students about what they're doing for St. Patrick's Day. My plans for St. Patrick's Day are to go to a local pub with my friends and have some dinner and Irish soda fresh. Uh, St. Patrick's Day has always been a tradition for me, and uh, as always, I'm going to dress green. I'm going to catch me lucky charms! My plans for St. Patrick's Day is going out with some friends and just enjoying the afternoon. I'm Sarah Benjamin reporting for Beyond the Brief. So, Ricky, what are your plans for St. Patrick's Day? Well, I'm probably going to eat some Irish food and uh, wish people happy St. Patrick's Day. Where am I green? Oh, well, sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. In American culture, it's safe to say that we celebrate St. Patrick's Day in our own way. But for those who may not know, St. Patrick's Day is an annual feast day that celebrates St. Patrick, who is the most commonly recognized of the patron saints of Ireland. There are many traditions associated with the holiday, such as wearing green, but there are also many different myths, such as believing you'll have good luck if you find a four-leaf clover, finding a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, Believing in, well, leprechauns or the myth that all Irish people, this is what I've never heard of, the myth that all Irish people have the red hair and the freckles. Anyway, Brittany Markowski went around campus to find out what Lynn students believe. All right, I'm here with AJ and she's from the Netherlands and she's going to tell us a little bit about what St. Patrick's Day means in the Netherlands. Well, St. Patrick's Day doesn't really exist in the Netherlands, so the first time I've even heard of it was when I was here in Boko. So how was your first experience for St. Patrick's Day? It was fun. It was a lot of people wearing green and going out and having a good time. So it's a common misconception that being Irish means that you have red hair and a lot of freckles and you clearly have dark black hair, big green eyes and a couple freckles. So what do you think about that? Uh, well, after spending a month in Ireland this summer, uh, it is a huge misconception. Actually, the red haired, uh, freckled faced people uh, I would have to say we're a minority when I was in Dublin, Ireland, so um, I would say that's inaccurate. What does being Irish mean to you? It means we're the best ethnic group. So we know when we were little kids in the United States that our parents always told us about the rainbow and what was at the end of the rainbow. What did you think was at the end of the rainbow? A pot of gold. Did you ever look for that pot of gold? Unfortunately, never. All right, and what do you think that the colors of the Irish flag are? Orange, white, and green. Bingo! There are over 34 million Americans in the United States with Irish ancestry. That is why it is a very widely celebrated holiday. Have a very fun and safe St. Patrick's Day. I'm Brittany Markowski, reporting for Beyond the Brief. Back to you, Ariana and Ricky. Thanks, Brittany, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you. So, I know you don't believe in leprechauns, but do you believe in any of the Irish myths? I mean, maybe it's true when they said there's a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow. Maybe. Well, this concludes this week's edition of Beyond the Brief. That's right. Thank you all for tuning in. We hope you all have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day.